Peter Buswell for DrVOIP.com with another tech tip. Today we're going to take a look at creating schedules in the Shortel Enterprise Contact Center. The first place you're going to want to go is to the Shortware Contact Center Director. You're going to log in as a supervisor with full visor rights, meaning that you have the ability to um, manipulate all entities in the system. The System tab will bring up a list uh, of system level configuration options. The one we're interested in is the one over here called Working Times. It'll show you a calendar, and in the calendar we can see that we can add day types and we can add shifts. We can create a day. Let's, let's create a day called uh, Holiday. And we will indicate by not checking this box that it is a day that we're not working and we'll color it red so it's obvious on our calendar. Let's go ahead here and create a um, weekday and it is in fact a working day. Let's make it green so we can see it on our calendar. Let's go over here with the weekday highlighted and create a shift. A shift might uh, start with let's say tack and uh, the good folks in TAC are usually in at uh, 5 um, five a.m. And let's say that the office opens at uh, um, 8, uh, 8 a.m. Uh, this guy got changed up here. Let's go back and fix him. One him to be six. And then we might uh, um, create a new shift called um, closed. And closed might be, oh, let's say, 7 p.m. So we have now created a weekday and uh, several shifts. We could create up to 48 different shifts per day type. So uh, for example, you might create another day type that says uh, weekend. And that may in fact be a working day and have um, a color of green, just so it's obvious on the calendar. And then you could go ahead and create um, create a shift name, again this might be uh, um, perhaps on the weekend we open a little bit later here, we're at 8 a.m. and we also have a close time at um, 6 p.m. So we've got our uh, shift for the weekend, for the weekday, and we've got a holiday. Now what we want to do is go out on the calendar and we're going to select, let's say, Monday. You'll get this pop-up and we're going to decide that Mondays are a weekday and therefore we'll follow the shifts associated with a weekday we can apply it to the current month, the current year, or we can say it's Mondays are always the weekday. And you can go through the rest of the calendar pretty much um, doing the same kind of a setup. Uh, set these for always. Let's go uh, fix our holiday here. We have uh, this guy here, the 25th. Well, he's a, he's a holiday, so let's go ahead and drop that holiday in there. And our, we want to define these guys here as weekends. We could have made them a different uh, color, but green kind of indicates it's a, an activity type of day. 
Uh, you can make these colors whatever you want. Perhaps the 24th is also going to be a holiday. So let's go ahead and do that. And basically, this is how you set up your day types and associate a schedule to a day type and then associate the day type to the calendar. Now that we've created our schedule, including our day types and our shifts, we can now apply this to the destination or call handling of specific incoming telephone calls to the contact center. The place we do that is we go to entities. Typically, we're going to be going to an internal routing number, in which case, as you'll recall, the IRN matches uh, a, a route point in the IPBX, and perhaps that route point has a DNS number associated, 1-800-HELP-ME, ring hits the, the, um, the route point. You could have applied a schedule to the route point, but many people prefer to do the scheduling in the contact center so that we can run reports and obtain information about um, calls into the contact center. Uh, whereas if you do the schedules on the route points, those calls will not be presented to the call center. So let's go ahead and pick um, IRN 155. And here you'll notice that it says the default destination is used when destinations are not defined. In this case, just if we don't do anything else, this uh, IRN will send the caller directly to a service called TAC1. And that service will define the audio plan. Probably, perhaps there's some scripts in the audio plan uh, that uh, require you to enter some digits uh, to obtain a contract number or something of that application. And then the call might go on to a group that has a bunch of agents in it. But at this point, if we don't associate a shift here, this default destination will take over. What we want to do here is say, well, look, during normal business hours, we want the call to go one way, and after business hours, we want to go somewhere else. So let's add a, a weekday office opens, and let's say that the destination type is, in fact, a service, and that that service is, in fact, the tax center. And let's deal with uh, if it's a weekday and it's closed. Well, uh, at that point, we want uh, to send the call to a script uh, that, uh, that plays an announcement that says, uh, uh, we are closed for the day, please call back. So basically, this is where you go to arrange the rerouting of your inbound calls based on a calendar, type of day, and a shift. A very interesting uh, arrangement of configuration options that should cover 100% of your call handling requirements going forward. I hope you have found this informative and I thank you for viewing.